Laird River to Watson Lake is 125 miles, and what was to be a short drive turned out longer than expected. The wildlife along the way was just too tempting to take pictures. Both Bev and I have seen a lot of wildlife growing up in Colorado and Montana, but not in the numbers of this trip. The buffalo were grazing along the road as the snow melts early, and grass starts sooner than in most places. Also, many animals lick the salt from the edges of the road. This was the first brown bear we could get a picture of, even though a large motorhome was partially blocking the view. Buffalo were plentiful, and again we got tired of taking so many pictures. We are entering Watson Lake, Yukon Territory, and known as the signpost capital of the world, displaying over 75,000 signs. The population of 1,700 definitely makes this a large town for the Yukon. Watson Lake became famous during the construction of the highway when several GIs put up a signpost showing the distances and directions to their towns. This Yukon historic site invites visitors from all over the world to add their signs on safe, solid, 8-inch square treated posts. Now Bev is here, has found a sign from Montana. And I found a sign from Longmont where I went to school. Then a year later, we put up our Arctic Circle sign or bus we had on our trailer. Again, signs all over the place. Watson Lake really caters to the tourists as we found throughout the Yukon Territory. Facilities, displays, and presentations are professional and well done. This is the entrance to their Chamber of Commerce. Here we found some of the best pictures anywhere along the trip of the history, so we are going to be taking some pictures of these different displays. Speed was the key on the Pioneer Road of 42, nearly running down the surveyors ahead. Teams of caterpillar tractors leveled the trees and pushed them aside. Behind were graders, gravel trucks, and bridges, and culvert building crews. Working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, progress was made despite the problems of quagmire, landslide, bugs, and floods. Here is a surveyor picture, a very good one on Summit uh, Soldiers Pass. And boy, what a mess those horses are in. And it was a lot of quagmire. There's more quagmire pictures. You can't believe there's about 150 miles of this through this area here that was nothing but quagmire and bog and really tough going for the boys. And here they are at Touching Blades where they come together. This is the uh, display area and auditorium of this building. A lot of places in the Yukon had these display places and very nice presentations. The Northern Lights Center is just across the street from the signpost forest and is the only planetarium in North America featuring the myth and science of Northern Lights in their Aurilla Borealis' presentation using special laser lights. Fine presentation. Here's Bev. We're enjoying a few minutes before we head down the road on to the next place. Johnson's Cross.